With just about six months left until the Iowa caucuses, 2024 is heating up and fundraising figures are giving us a first glimpse of how much money the candidates have and how much their campaigns are raising heading into next year's presidential election. What we know is that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has raked in over $20 million between April 1st and June 30th, notably most of that coming from big dollar donations. DeSantis is also burning a lot of cash. His campaign has spent about 40% of what it raised in the quarter as he slumps in the polls. Comparatively, Trump, who leads significantly in polling, has raised $18 million in the same quarter, most of which was transferred from another committee that won't report its figures until later this month. Meanwhile, incumbent President Joe Biden raising around $20 million this quarter. However, he has the benefit of working hand in hand with the Democratic National Committee and its fundraisers, which collectively report having raised a combined $72 million since Biden launched his re-election bid in April. While that is arguably a strong performance, Biden's numbers are notably behind both former President Trump and former President Obama during the same period of their respective campaigns for a second term in 2011 and 2019, just to give you some perspective. Meanwhile, as fundraising numbers put Trump and DeSantis in their own tier, we also have numbers for other Republicans looking to challenge the two. Vivek Ramaswamy raised $7.7 million this quarter. Tim Scott, $5.9 million. Nikki Haley's campaign raised $5.3 million. And former Vice President Mike Pence, who joined the race in June, raised only $1.2 million for his campaign. It's important to note these figures disclosed by the Federal Election Commission don't give us the full picture just yet. Super PACs, external groups, and fundraising committees that are contributing to these presidential hopefuls don't fully disclose their contributions until July 31st. That's when we can get an even better idea of where the candidates stand. Plus, while having millions of dollars in the war chest is seen as critical to a shot at victory, GOP candidates also have to show that they have at least 40,000 unique donors in order to make it to the stage for the first GOP presidential primary debate. That is scheduled for August 23rd.